Hi, everybody. All right, the engine is in, but we're not going to hang it yet. Before we hang anything, we're going to make sure that everything on the firewall is exactly where it's supposed to be. All the temporary stuff is going to get removed. Everything's going to be tightened up. All the proper uh, cotter pins can be put all over the landing gear, all of that. It's going to be shorn up. Then we will feel confident enough to hang the engine without feeling weird because, you know, you're still going to have to get back behind a firewall and drill a bunch of holes, etc. Better to just go ahead and do that now. Anyway, plus the other fear about that is I'm so scared of putting the engine on and then like two weeks later think, oh crap, now i got to take it off. No, we do not want to. Having put this thing on, you do not want to take it off. Let's get that awful steel weight off of there so much less ghetto all right so that's basically it i'm just spending this video planning stuff and it's thanksgiving week so here's a note some hope for the holidays and and a rant all at the same time uh to people who always complain that they can't go home because they don't want to be at thanksgiving with their relatives and deal with them they can go f themselves family is all you got so go home, and you know what, if you really, if you really, really don't want to hear someone talk religion or politics or whatever it is, and it's just getting on your nerves, don't start screaming, just throw a spoonful of mashed potatoes right at them. If you're going to have a fight, at least have a food fight. Except the turkey. Turkey can be dangerous. Don't throw turkey. But everything else is fair game. Alright, so here is... Where I'm going to try to put the manifold pressure sensors. You already saw me just tape up the fuel uh, the fuel filter on the bottom. So there's two fuel filters in the system. It's got very fine injectors, and you need to have good filters. So it's going to live there roughly, because the oil cooler is going to be sitting next to it. And I've got to get a fuel line from the firewall to the bottom side of that, and then another line out of the top side of that over to the number three cylinder. And I got to get two manifold pressure sensors. You can see them sort of up there on the firewall now. They're the same style that Garm, uh, sorry, not Garmin, that Dynan uses, which is why one is nicely bolted up, because the bolts were already there for it. But, however, this is too, and this is for the EFI system. And if that's one thing I could would complain is that it the EFI system doesn't let you tap off the manifold pressure readings, so you have to still have one for your Garmin or Dynan system. So there is that, and you'll see me trying to figure that part out later. So. All right, this is a short little video. I'm just staring at the firewall the rest of the time, talking with my buddy, trying to figure out how to put stuff where. So everyone have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, in the next video, I think we hang the engine, so that'll be cool. So Thank you for joining me. See you soon.